Well, you had your restaurant, but so give me this money back. If he gave you too much, don't keep it. He said a hundred, and that was the I put, a hundred. That's what you put, but you kept my money. Bro, go on about some more. You girl, I sent my daughter in here. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Public Freakouts Unleashed. We have an atrocious show for you, as always. And real quick, I know that it's been quite some time, but The Reckoning just got its first upload in a while. I covered the uh, security guard LARPer guy from earlier this week. Turns out that guy has been found and punished. But please don't watch that until you watch this. First up, this frustrated airline passenger gets a literal everyone clapped moment for his rant. You should have had pilots here before. Not now. Not now. I told you that hours ago. I, when you had them on the, on the tarmac and knew it, for three hours, I told you that your pilots were going to time out and your crew was going to walk off that, that airline, off of this flight. And that's exactly what they did. You should have had this. You should have called your Florida people from hours ago. Hours ago. And you all know that. Because you know the federal guidelines. You're right. 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 Believe it or not, the nasty tirade of fury this woman in the plaid coat unleashed on this unsuspecting woman was all because said unsuspecting woman passed her while leaving the store. They're both going out the exit. She decides she's going too slowly, so she walks around her. Played coat did not like that. This is how Trash Day makes me feel. This altercation happened between a supposed mechanic, doesn't seem like a very good one, and a Boost Mobile employee who seems to be conducting her personal business out of the storefront. And what's already a heated exchange here gets worse and worse until the explosive finale. I wonder how her employer felt about all this. What to do today to worry about well, your spark plugs. Well, that's all you had to say, but you don't have to put it in that form. I don't need you to do anything for me. You can actually take my number out your hand and put it in the garbage. Please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Absolutely. And if you keep it up, you can actually leave the store. When I get done with it. No, no, no. Actually, I will take that form from you. No, it's not about the police. It ain't about the police. Cause you don't, you don't scare me up in here. You don't have to. Yeah, yeah, but you don't scare me, honey. What happened? Yeah, he just getting an attitude just for no reason. He got... expects me to change your spark plugs for getting on the phone. Listen, this is I what happened. Wait, please! I got money like hell. Okay, I don't need your shit. That coke no, is getting to you, honey. That coke is getting to you. you. And you can. 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 But you won't come disrespect me. You think you are? That's what I was thinking. Service provider, I promise you. And um, and so um, your mama bitch. That's what you got about that.
This person has no relation to the freakout, but happened to catch this incredible scene right outside their window. This one could be tricky. Our main character in this next video records what appears to be an illegal, unannounced entry by the property manager of this tenant's rental, and they start firing off violations. You've got the dog, you've got this, you've got that, and everything they can think of. But one thing that also stuck out to me was that the property manager mentioned several times that they haven't paid rent. I wonder how true that is. As a property manager, though, can you just show up in someone's house and just kind of like walk around? Okay. Without... Yeah, you, 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 you have to give somebody a 24 hour notice before you come in their house. Hey, we'll, we'll definitely see you in court for this. I promise you. I promise you. Hello, I can't hear you. It's nice to meet One, you, though. You can This is true, okay? I don't live Apartment here. Right? So do you guys just kind of walk in people's houses whenever you feel? So you just decide, please. That's illegal. What about that's you? Do you think that's, do you think that's acceptable? I know my rights. You obviously don't. Right. No, I, you I, kind of look like that's acceptable. Yes, ain't nobody ever done this. I got to get my mic on with you. That's a terrible meeting. And I don't mind. As an owner, we have rights. No, you. I know the rights. But, like, you need to give us a notice. You don't just come inside people's houses. I just had a baby. You don't come inside my house. It's been paid. It's my three months. You know you're coming to my house first. You don't let yourself in. I got you too. Your ass, dumb ass. I got you too. People. Your dumb ass didn't follow me to x ray school, though. To be a You're tripping, dog. Oh, You're tripping. You jealous ass. Tripping. Ah, uh how -huh, you a. Alright, bro. Alright, dude. See ya. Oh, <laughs> this dude is tripping. TikTok user BasilBaby90 decided to take their adorable little cat on a leash to the beach. Only the off-leash dogs who are also there appear to be posing a serious problem. Folks, if you can't control your dogs, please don't let them off the leash. Basil's first beach experience. I don't know if she's feeling the ocean. It's oh, fine. Oh, oh, oh. You're okay. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no. I no, 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 no. It's okay. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Damn. Basil, basil, basil. Basil, it's okay. Um, you should put your dog on the leash. Hey, hey, hey. You get your dog, please. What the fuck? That's not cool. Can you put your dog on a leash? Yes. Hey, 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 no, no, no. <laughs> Can you put your dog on a leash? Get your dog! What the fuck? Get your dog! Worth mentioning, I checked out her TikTok page just to make sure the cat is totally fine, everybody's fine. Assaulted someone. Oh, 
The mayor of Montclair, California seems to have embarrassed himself recently by trying to flex on one of his colleagues, and he even goes and tries to menacingly stand over her and intimidate her, uh, before being to his eternal embarrassment told he needs to calm down. As an aside, how are you the whole ass mayor of a city and you can't enunciate any of your words properly or speak with any sort of clarity? This guy mispronounces half of his words. I want you to make sure that we're going to run this meeting with decorum, which means everybody respects everybody, because I know it'll be a different opinion. That's, that's the problem here is to, Chris, I want you to understand that there's a whole lot of other people who feel the opposite direction, and trying to address that in this room is the wrong place to do it. But we I'll need, you right we now, need to Carissa, have the conversation I'm telling you right now, Carissa, I, my, I'm speaking now. I'm telling you right now, Carissa, if you want to, you know, if you want to have a resolution, which I don't believe this is a privy to the city council. If you want to have a resolution, you're going to have a thousand people, all sorts. I'm okay opinion. with that. It's democracy. You know, I understand it's Let's democracy, it. but you know what? Excuse me. You had your opportunity to speak. Thank you very much. Have a nice day or adjourn. Carissa, you, you need to knock this off. You need to knock this off. Let's talk later. Let's talk later, Mayor. You need to calm down. You're out of order, sir. Okay. Bitch, what about it, huh? Yo, I'm over here 34 fighting with an 18-year-old. What's the good, bitch? I ain't 34, bitch. Bitch, you damn No, I ain't not. I ain't. I ain't, bitch. I ain't. Step the f*** off my car. And if I don't? Step the f*** off my car. Nah. Step the f*** off. Well, we've got another one in the books for Frontier. This one is really crazy. Actually, this terminal erupts into chaos after, is that, do you call it a terminal? Like the waiting area, whatever. So this terminal erupts into chaos after a several hour wait ends up in a full cancellation. And the would-be passengers are informed that after their six hours of waiting, they won't be able to get another flight until the next Tuesday. The giggling and coyness and smiles of all the employees during this time probably didn't help make anything better. I wanted to wait and come up here and tell you I want to give you guys a little earlier. We are timed out now. Here we go. Oh, 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 you guys knew that a long time ago. Come out here to help people. Yeah, yeah. Why did it take so long to communicate? Because we were trying to get you on time, sir. Oh, one time. One time was 7 o'clock. In and out of the whole state of Florida. That was cool. He just told you. That was cool. He just told you. We want Southwest coming back. The Southwest does not come here. Right. So if you're a frontier flight, you could not come here. Back up. Oh, 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 no. You can be a little nicer. For you. For six hours. I understand. This is why they're called tier. Tier. Not frontier. Tier. They can fuck off. This is airline. Taking us what? Just leave! Just leave! Leave! 
Another Reddit user did some digging on this next scenario, which is very helpful. A heated exchange where a postal worker won't accept a package, and it appears that the rule this worker was insisting on enforcing wasn't actually a real rule at all. Hmm. One, you shouldn't be using their bags. Why? They're for Amazon S returns. Who says? I'm saying. You're saying? Uh huh. So it doesn't matter what bag I'm it using, does. I can I can just send you the can't. parcel. You can't. No, I can't. They, they shouldn't be given out to customers. No, I, I have these box and they're mine box and that's it. They're not your, they're supplied to the post office. It doesn't matter. It does I'm matter. not sending with Amazon, I'm sending with argue. Royal Mail. I'm not going to argue with you. Okay, I just want to send okay. the parcel. You're not, we can't accept. You should accept this. Well, I'm Show not. me where it says. Show me where it says. I'm, I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm going to send this parcel, okay? And you Scan the QR code, please. Kilo? It doesn't matter. I spoke to, I spoke to Royal Mail, they can you can send up to two kilos the same price. No, it's not. No, it's, I'm it not is. Argue with you. I'm saying every day everywhere. You should say you should. I am paying for this. I paid for it. You should, you should take it. Kilos. You should take. I don't care. Take the scan. Not, scan the QR code. No, I will. I will. No, I will. You should take it. Um, scan I'm the QR code. What's the problem? He's just refusing the, to leave. Yeah, yeah I am. I am refusing right. to leave. Come and scan the parts. I'm, I'm going to send it. You can. Two things. You cannot yeah. use Says an who? Amazon show me, show me where it's written. Show me the policy. I don't know where it's written, but I'm telling no, you. No, that's not true. Well, I want to send the first. I'm not doing no, it. I, you will. I'm not doing it. You will. <laughs> no, you will. Scan not the QR code. I'm not doing it. Scan the QR code. You Please told leave. my father what to do. So I'm telling you what to do. Why, why are you arguing with my father earlier? I wasn't arguing with him. You were. I'm you told him, don't with... speak on the phone when I'm talking to you. Because he he can talk... speak with anybody. Right. Can you please leave? No, I can't. Oh. Scan the parcel. He's refusing to leave, Ash. Because there's two reasons. Roy, she's people. been very rude today. I'm not, rude I'm not happy with that. She needs to scan the QR code and I want to send the parcel, that's it. But there's we will also, also, on, also on the QR code, he only paid for up to a kilo and it's a kilo it's and a half. It's the same price for two kilos. It's not the same price. It is, I take levels every day, the same price. Are you okay? I'm not. I'm absolutely, I'll be better. I'll be better when you're in front of me. Can somebody else do it? Leave. No, because I'm the manager. I'm not leaving. And I'm if you're the manager, you should know your job. You should I do learn it. Go online and read the policy. Follow the policy of Royal Mail. This is Royal Mail company. It's not your company. You need to follow their policy. I paid for it. You're not going to argue with me. Because you're not going to argue with me. 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 You're not going to Come on, just come, just, she'll just she'll send the parts and I'll be left. Send the parts and I'll be left. not doing my job unless it's done correctly. This is correctly. I paid for this. Doesn't matter the bag. Don't worry about the bag. Do worry about the bag. Why? What's the problem? Same as if it came in a DPD bag, we can't accept it. Says who? Says Royal Mail. never does like that. She has rules and procedures to follow. This is not the rules. This is her rules. She should follow the Royal Mail's rules. What's going on? She's making up new rules every day, bro. Quick warning, the soul-crushing cringe in this video might be too much for some people. Our next main character has an extremely awkward back and forth with another passenger, the one in the aisle seat on this plane, after asking him to switch seats on account of his claustrophobia. Excuse me, sir. Did you get him? Hey, would you mind switching me places? You're like twice as small as no. me, man. And we, I have we got I'm claustrophobic too. I'm seriously claustrophobic. I, I can't do it. Sorry. How about 20 bucks? I can't do it in the middle. Me neither. But you got that aisle seat, man. That's the one we need for the claustrophobic yeah. stuff. Shit. Yeah. It ain't your fault, pal. No problem. It's good to be a big dude, you know. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah, this situation not so good for me and claustrophobia boy over there. Right. <laughs> this woman, a classic Karen, apparently dressed in theme for her trip to this Burger King, where she of course threw a fit about the wait time. Bro, give me my refund on my food. Babe, you hear this? 
Bro, this is yeah, the right one. Refund, please, sir. The Buffalo chicken sandwich ain't ready yet either. The Buffalo chicken ain't ready yet either. This man's girlfriend shows up to what our main character apparently believed was strictly a business meeting lunch. And she clearly had other ideas because she thinks our main character is her boyfriend's secret mistress. Things, of course, get very awkward. Extreme cringe, round two. I just didn't mean forgive me for like whatever happened. I think that uh, it, it's okay, you know what, I have the understanding that this is a professional exchange, but I, you guys should work through what's going on, because clearly there's something going on. I think you and I are done talking. Yeah. yeah. No, totally. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I can understand how she would be hurt by what's going on right now, so... Uh, thank you, this was great, and I do appreciate your compliments and, and hearing your stories. I think they're great, but I think you guys need to go work on, work through that. Yeah, I think, I think we're done here. And the fact that he didn't even say that I'm kissing my film. I don't talk about that person like that professionally. Why? Because you're a woman in your life, so. Could you just tell her? Okay, so, okay. okay. take care. Yeah. Oh my god. I have to say, it's really nice to see that so many of the service employees in these really rough fast food jobs, and we watch what these people go through every day, right? Uh, like this woman at Wendy's, feel comfortable standing up for themselves now when customers get nasty and rude like this lady. I only hope that their manager and the franchise unit's owner are also supportive. Why was she talking to me? Is that how you talk to customers? No, I was trying to explain to the lady I couldn't hear her. No, that's not what When she said no coke, with small coke and no money. She was trying to tell you, she was trying to talk to you, mm -hmm. and I see that you have a problem talking to her. No, I don't have a problem talking to nobody. You were having you a have a good day and leave my restaurant. I was not having a bad day until you came in and started hollering at me. And all I told the lady on the headset is that I didn't understand what she said. She but that's the lady who were in your car. So I'm asking her, did she? I couldn't hear what she said of the soft drink. And now then please what, what leave my say? restaurant. Because you don't have no right coming in here yelling at me. No, you don't have no right calling I don't me have yelling no right. at me. You, you, you don't have no right to. You came in here yelling at me. I came in there yelling at you. Now. So please leave my establishment oh, now. My you go okay. sit down when you're yeah. in the ring now. Go there and sit down. Okay, so this next video is pretty outrageous. Uh, what starts as an argument over a simple refund on some prescription glasses spirals into an argument with both the staff and all of the customers in line behind him over the fact that he's recording everything. Oh, and this took place in Toronto. Uh, if there's any Canadians who could fill us in on how recording law works in Canada, that would be appreciated. I just want a different prescription. I just asked him. It's my job to ask that is accused. And he abused me and he did. How did I abuse you? You did. How did I abuse you? Tell me how I abused you. I'm not going to say anything over the video. Okay. You need to stop okay. doing that first. Tell me how I abused you. I'm just here to exchange this, if you don't mind. Uh... What's the problem? With this it? is a weaker prescription. I just want to exchange. I bought it like 30 minutes ago, and okay. she's asking me if it's used. So I said, that's a silly question. She said I abused her. Could you not film? It's for my safety. You're filming me. It's for my safety. That's good to you. That's but fine. You're me. That's fine. I'm, I don't want to be captured. Well, you know Could what? You take it's that it's out? my phone. Okay, let me see your credit card. My credit card's here. Can I see the number, please? Can I see the number? You know you can't make a video by law. Not anymore. Which law do you have? Which law are you, which country law do you know? I'm born here, man. Which law, which country law are you born here? Okay. Um, I Good just for wanna, you. We're doing it for you, but I just wanted to know that that's not nice. It's my, it's not nice. You're filming me. Sure, it's not nice. You're filming it's me. It's not nice, but it's for my safety. It's my for consent. my, no. Yes. You do. It's for my You're filming safety. Me. No. Take, take it off, please yeah. just yeah. can it's you please just off, refund my okay. item please yeah, yeah, she's not, already we are not refunding it so can you, can you, can you, like it's, am i being ganged up on no 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 i'm just buying do you work I'm just here 
here? I'm just. Do you work here, I'm sir? I'm just saying you that do by you work law here? you no can't way. make video of anybody. Do you work no, here, though? Consent. Do you work there here? Nothing happening I'm asking you here. if you work here. You can't make uh, do you videos work here? of her because they are. And can you show me the law? Show me the law, yeah, please. I'm just like you. I'm can you show me the law? If I'm wrong, I think you can explain me. I think me you also, are wrong. Right? Show maybe me the I law. Wrong, but yes, but then you can explain Why are you me? intruding on? Just want to return no, no. my product. No, Why are you bro? intruding? Do you right. work here? No, bro. Are you in uniform? He's no. with me. In to what I'm capacity do you have a? Do you have a, any sort of? Why you're making my video, man? To have to what? You're making my what video capacity? Because you approached me. You walked into my video. If anyone talks to it's you, make you video. walked into my video. It's fine, sir. It's fine. Okay, make my video. I want okay. to be popular. Let's so not this. Yeah. I'm I'm opening my channel. Very I'm soon. being ganged up on by yeah. five no, people. Why I have to Are gang up? I look, I'm buying items. Okay, sir. Just right? stop your card, please. I'm not ganging up. I'm just here to return an item. You can take me. I, do I have a problem being on camera? No, I don't. So why yeah, do but, you? But, uh, so why do you? Yeah, He's filming me. Yourself. He's that's filming me. I have no problem being on camera. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, not a problem. Call the police and I'll, I'll film him too. You it's not illegal. You can't. You can't. Scan your optimum card, please. It's not illegal. You guys need to learn the law when you come here. What the hell is wrong with you? Yes. You say that. That's that's her privacy. Pri she's <laughs> is she in a private place? Yeah, but I don't want to be filmed it's, in your it's, camera. A, it's her discretion you if she wants. That? I don't want to be filmed in your camera. It's for my I'm safety. How Just you filming me? Because I don't know what you guys are capable of. It's for my report safety. It to the manager, yeah, report. Uh, call the police. Report me to what? whomever. Okay, you're up to I'm not breaking the law. Okay, I'm not stop breaking it now, the stop law. It now. What's it's wrong with you people? I am not breaking the law. Scan okay, scan I don't need to. Just you give me tap. my product and I can leave here. Tap again, please. I did a refund first. I already tapped my card. Didn't go through yet. You guys need to learn the law. You should. I know the law. Trust me. Forget it. It's okay. I know the law. I. Yeah, I, sir, I, I have better things to do, sir. Please proceed. Exactly. You, you're Clearly. the thing you should be doing is doing your please. job. What am I asking you to do? I'm asking you to tap. That is my job, sir. No, you've been having a conversation with him for 20 minutes. That's uh, that's that's, that's not that? really needed. Forget it. Here. Forget it. You're wearing a mask, right? Clearly. Yeah. You know how you're making me right how, now. Oh, you know how uncomfortable you're making me? Okay. I'm just here to return a product. Here we go. Idiots. Excuse me? Sorry, sir, but you can't film. I'm sorry? Did you say something? What did I, it's a free country. I can say whatever I want. Unless I commit a crime, I can say and do whatever I want. Learn the laws. Of all the service jobs I could ever not want. I would perhaps not want to work at a gas station the absolute most. Are you videotaping me? Yeah. Please don't. Are you gonna leave? I, darling, my Can car, you, my, my car will be You're out here yelling and you got customers coming in here telling me you're okay. talking about murder and all this crazy yeah, stuff. Yeah, because I, because this is a prophecy in Revelation. All the people that have been murdered, everyone's faced it right now. Napalm. Yeah. Well, we have no idea what you're well, talking about. Well, guess what? Elizabeth, the Antichrist mother, she's going to release us from murder because she's going to say the words. This is Easter, you know? I just, my car's coming for me. If you, you know, if you want to call the cops, you're going to cost yourself something. I'm not going to cost myself yeah, anything. Yeah, for Holy Week and Easter. You have yourself a good Easter. I have about 10 minutes till my car gets here. Well, can you wait over there at the other gas station? No, I'm going to wait right here because I've been murdered before. I'm going to wait right here in the lights. How have you been murdered if you're still living? Because this is life after death, darling. Have a good night. I'm safe from this. I'm safe from the second death. That's cool. Well, if you're going to wait here, I need you to stop all that yelling. Our next story, Madness at the Big Red. Our main character causes a scene at Target over some returns she wants to make, though it appears her lack of physical ID is making things. Well, contentious to say the least. It's not working, that's the thing. What do you mean it's not working? I don't understand what you're saying. You asked for the ID number, I gave it to it's you. It's not gonna go through. Oh, okay. That's the thing. Well, can you just give me a gift card and I can exchange it that way? I can't just give you a gift card. I'll call you, you manager over. I did. 
Because I'm wasting my breath talking to you right now. <laughs> like, it's $13.50. It shouldn't be worth a headache. I mean, come on. And it's not my fault. It's not my fault you changed your policies. I've been shopping here for a while. I never had that problem. I always can come back and bring something, exchange it. They gave me a card last time. We usually do with either receive the credit card. I don't know what it is. ID. You know how much paper I have in my car? <laughs> you don't want to keep up with all the receipts what, in the world. Well, that's that's when you need Please. to target app on your phone. It's all stored in Honey, there. no thanks. I need I have enough apps on my phone. Oh. I have no room. <laughs> I it can't really apps. help you if you don't have a receipt card or ID. $50. What are you talking about? That's just our policy. What? It's our policy. Our manager will tell you the same thing. Can a well, where's the manager here? Are you still yapping this? off talking about the manager going to tell me? Let me let me hear that. It will come up here in a Because I'm quite sure I know your manager. All right, so you can speak to them in a second. I am. I'm I going to. to. You do whatever you got to do. Just get out of my face. Not helping me. Call me rude if you want to. She sat there repeated like five times. Like, I need to hear. I'm 50 years old. Don't tell me like a little child. I'm not your child. Just trying to I don't care. She said it one time. I don't, I'm not hard of hearing. I don't wear hearing aids. Shit. She's giving me a headache. Where's the manager? Like, why is it so long for the manager to come out? The manager should have been here when I first asked for it. What, you're returning? That's it. That one little jacket. I don't know why I picked it up. It was cute at the moment, but I'm too grown for that. Okay. This is more my style. Susan, did you try doing it on her driver's license? She didn't do nothing. I haven't. I didn't take care of her. Yeah. But she doesn't have her driver's license with her. She has, which technically we're I have a to, picture. I understand. But technically, we're supposed to scan the driver's license. I mean, it was nice enough to take yeah. the numbers off it. She was nice enough? Well, she did because we're not, we're supposed to have it in hand. All right, let her deal with it. She's the yes. manager. Let her deal with it now. Not, no disrespect to you because no, you didn't even help me at all. You were helping other people. But you heard everything that I said. I understand. Our main character in this next story gets tired of waiting for her food. She might have brought a little too much sass. Which one is your general manager? Hey, how are you? I'd like my food now, please. I was trying to give him to you. Trying to give you to understand something. You were talking to me and talking away. Then you started cussing. No, nobody's cussed. I was trying to talk to you. That wasn't talking to you. Well, no, sir, I was not. So my order is now 30 minutes overdue, and the gentleman that you served behind me was to be after my order. So I'm trying to get an understanding of how it is you're choosing to do orders. Because mine was ordered at 4.39. No comment from the general manager. No comment. Welcome to Moe's. Well, you said mine is coming, so I'll just stand here and wait. 